Hey, how's it going? Chef B Live here, and I'm in Studio City, California. This is actually my last night here in our amazing studio kitchen. We've had this place for almost a year now, and you know the urock.tv slash B Live slash Trinity Edutainment Movement has done a lot of really amazing, incredible things in this space. Lots of videos in the kitchen. Well, you know, to end this saga, spending my last night here, I'm actually going through the most incredible and fun adventurous packing adventure of my life so far so just to be, that being said i'm actually on an adventure to take a flight on a private jet to a private island and so i get to take everything my whole kitchen i'm fully supported in this movement so it's really cool so i'm just going to show you a little bit like just look at this this is hilarious this is like this is my spices and you know, a lot of my superfoods and all that stuff. And then if you come in here, then, I mean, that, I already have, chip out on this, I already have my Rockstar, my little Rockstar, my Mercedes uh, that I love so much. I already have her packed. So you know, Almost. like, since she's full, uh, I'm debating if I can get the rest of this in there, but I'm gonna pull, I'm really, really being Tetris at this. And so look, I have this right here. You know, I got these tools, I got my processor in here, I got my blender, I got a blender in here, I got, look at this, you know, I got bags that I'm going through still that, that I'm really trying to just consolidate, you know, we got like cameras, I got boxes, so, you know, bottom line is, is that I got a lot of stuff, I got my cameras, you know, it's just straight up. The raw truth. The raw truth. And you know what? It's brought, brought to you by Chef B. And uh, the dogs are getting heated up here. Rockstar out. Got my dates. I mean, yeah, these are nothing, <laughs> literally. I mean, two of those boxes aren't mine, but the rest are. And you should see, you should see how much stuff I brought. I brought my whole kitchen. You know, he hired me for top dollar. He's paying celebrity chef prices, literally. And so he gets my whole shebang, you know? I got every single piece of equipment and tool that I own, brought my whole kitchen, which is fun. <laughs> because now I have a real professional, huge kitchen with even more tools as well. So, cool, yeehaw. Yeah, this is so next level on. Next level on. <laughs> 
I get to convert either this kitchen right here. Let's start right here. I get to convert this kitchen. No worries. I am not soaking those almonds next to a microwave that gets used. Yes, there's part of my station right there, right? With soaking cashews and my dehydrator and blenders and all that good stuff, right? So, we are thinking about doing a really cool ritual. At least one of the microwaves on the property here at Nygaard Key. So, we're gonna either get rid of this stove over there, right? Or we're gonna move to another spot and completely create a new kitchen, which will be just as, if not more fun. So yeah, this is a fun, really cool endeavor. I'm here in the Bahamas and uh, just doing my thing, having fun, because I love what I do. And yes, I am working 24 seven. I basically am like the raw food be Alfred. <laughs> you know, Alfred from Batman, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, have a good one. flaxseed crust you know I did season it there were some herbal seasonings you know such as basil oregano thyme rosemary Italian style seasonings and the flavor and basically where it's really gonna happen is what is on the sauce, the cheese, the contents. And of course, because I added enough salt and herbs, I gave this pizza crust some flavor. Doesn't look like much right now, but hey, it will be a beautiful and very scrumptious New York style pizza. About the best you can get. Well, no, I can actually do a crust that mimics more like crust, but still, for those who want lots of flats, and I know where I'm at right now, they're like, give me some flax seeds. So, I know grinding it is better. And it is actually ground in my other version. But they like the visual flax seed thing, which is very awkward to me because usually it's the opposite. <laughs> That's what I found. <laughs> so, this is cool. I'm making some chili Rieno nori snacks. Now, basically, it's a chili Rieno style pate, as you can see, that I spread on the nori and then placed on in the dehydrator. So now I'm just gonna let it dry and it's gonna become really crispy. And then I will cut them into chips, I will score them, and oh shoot, actually, I need to score them a, a little bit before they dry all the way so that they cut and they become chips. Because other than that, if you do it too soon, the nori will stick to the knife. And if you do it too late, the chip will break. <laughs> so, I will score it soon after I leave you. This is a chili Rieno nori tree. So, basically, it's like a chip, but I don't call it a chip because, you know, it's a little different. It's got the nori, so I call it a tree. tree. So, I'd be very excited to see how you like it. I don't think he likes it. I don't think he does either. 
He doesn't like the seaweed. It's good. Do you not like seaweed? It's good. It's good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, is he acting? It tastes like fish. Do you like fish? Yeah. It doesn't taste like fish, no. It's annoying. But that's also why I didn't want you guys to try it. See how that tastes? It satisfies that craving of that kind of. Yeah. Did, good. did you like it? I like it, yeah. I like it. I'm in it then I'm in it <laughs> oh wow. I'm actually right now I'm like posting like I'm here on literally on Facebook. I'm posting this I'm posting this posting it says it says I'm just gonna this is an interesting video, okay gal. She has some crying, pouring, tears. Tears of joy. It's such joy. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna read this to you because I just posted this on Facebook and you'll get an idea of what's up. Because it's the, this posting that inspired these tears and whatnot, right? So it says, last night when I realized the significance of this gift, of an opportunity that has been given to me, it gave me tears of joy. Now, this gift is that I am actually a, a huge player and that I, and I have a really big role the converting the Nygaard kitchens into raw, vegan, mostly vegan, you know, they're like, mostly raw, mostly vegan. My brother Kai, you know, Kai Nygaard, and he's got such an amazing vision with this, with this empire, and uh, it's awesome to see that he and his dad, he has his dad on board, and his dad's really, totally like, dedicated, which is, fun. oh my god, cool. So, yeah, that was just like, that opened my heart up, and I was like, yeah, man, I was like, brought some tears of joy last night, right? And so, as it goes on in this post here, later on in the evening, I realized that it was the smartest thing to do to leave my entire kitchen here in the Bahamas. You know, because, and I'm not going to read anymore, but just to expand on that. Because at this point, I might be going, I'm probably going to be going, I, mean, I don't want to assume or anything, but it just depends on what my schedule is, probably more than anything, um, to New York and then to China. And there's places that I'm going to have to, like, set up kitchens in different places. So, I brought my entire kitchen here to the Bahamas because I knew that it would be really challenging. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And so I had this great idea to Kai of leaving all of it here. Be reimbursed. I'm just buying it again. I didn't really, I just, you know, because I, I have been given the, the gift of being able to really, like, deeply understand letting go of attachments. And there's just some things, of course, that, like, you have attachments to. Like, I have my children, you know, there's some things in life, you know. And, uh, and yeah, so I like, I, I went to the kitchen a little later, and, and when I was there with my kitchen, I just like, really had this like connection that I had never had with an, an inanimate object before, much less most humans. And it was just so, such a really wonderful and great deep connection. And like I like 
started breaking down in tears because I was just like, it has been there through thick and thin for me. Like, I can't even explain. It's like, it, it's what's brought everything that I'm doing to you, to anyone that's put any of my food in their mouth. Any, you know, like thousands, if not like million. I don't know. You know, you never know, right? You know, so <laughs> yeah. So now I was just posting this, and I had a really, really deep connection to it again, to my kitchen, and I'm true letting go of it. And you know, just then it was just, and then now I've just been like releasing, uh, like letting go of just joy, just thank, being thankful and, and gratitude, because I have done a lot of effing work, you know, and it's been, it's been hard to even get by, it's, I mean, you know, I'm so cool, just, I knew that sticking through, I knew that, it, that doing it, I knew more than probably most, you know what my job is, as it's getting closer to the 21st of December, which is just so in, just interesting in general, because, I mean, for me, I've already seen the shift that, like, very young, right? And I've blah, 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 talked about it to here and there. I haven't shared a lot with the world, but, you know, I think you can probably get it if you follow me or just, you know, I, you know I'm tuned in at least a little bit, right? So, I don't know, it's just really, I'm just in gratitude because... It, the responsibility and the gifts are changing and shifting and and I've just been ready for the new challenges, you know? And I, I love that kitchen. It's, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back and forth using it, watching it being used. It's like it's it's awesome. I'm getting called right now. I'm getting called by my brother James. What's up, man? Yeah. So, I'm doing a video. I had like I'm just sharing with my with my uh, fans, yep. just in general about my my experience here, and I, I'm in tears of joy right now, basically because, and I'm in tears just because last night, um, after connecting with Kai and really going over everything with uh, my responsibility role is here, and just in general, um, I had the idea of leaving my kitchen here, right? I brought it all. I didn't have any idea of it. just the universe like, planning it, right? And I went into the kitchen, and I like had this like meltdown, like this. I had this connection, like you would have with like with something that you lose, like a person or something, or a dog, right? Yeah. And uh, so I was just sharing it with my fans, with all of them. This cat right here, he is a badass. Well, everything he does, like from like 3D to video. I mean, and I've seen him. He's a man of a million hats. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go because we got a mission late. saying the droids are getting way better and stuff too. Wow. Lion. Yes, sir. I'll share more in the detail. <laughs>
guys are. Yeah. All right, so. Do mind if I, if I shoot? Do you guys? Because it's going to go to people in the world who need to juice, who need to heal. Yeah. Awesome. All right, cool. So, um. Can we talk last night? Yeah, yeah. He's aware. This guy's no, This guy knows. Cool, so, oh look, Eric's coming back. Are you coming for more juice? You coming for more juice now? No. Wait, you know one thing we need, Kendall? One thing we need is like a knife in a little area too, so we can slice, you know, like the ginger. Yeah, but right now what we have is a bunch of different uh, cut fresh organic fruits and vegetables. And so it's important that we're going organic, especially for fresh juice. If it's not organic, that means that it's got pesticides and all that kind of stuff. We don't want that. We want we want things that are naturally made from the earth, you know, coming from the earth. And we want more local stuff in the Bahamas here. So anyway, we'll start with something easy. So this is a pear. You put it in the juicer. You push it down. You got a blade going in there. And that's what that pear juice looks like. Okay. Here's a little, uh, little cucumber. We can mix things if we want to. So cucumber is good because it adds a lot of... Uh, Real juicy cucumbers. Yeah, good base. Yeah. Cucumber and celery make good bases. We got I... some celery here. So yeah. Put some of that. Now you guys help me out too. You guys want want me to add more or less? Who's this one? Yeah, for? you. Are you feeling anything? Yeah, who's, 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 who's taking right. this one? Sure. Sure. Oh, so the so the. So we gotta get greens in. Improv you know, it then. We, this is what we want in us. We want to really make sure that we're getting good leafy organic greens. Our body. Dark, dark, dark greens. Okay, now we want to sweeten it up a little. We got this is, I think this is pear. No, it's That's apple. apple. It's apple. So we'll throw a little apple. We got apple, we got pear. Carrots are sweet. So carrots are sweet. We're doing yep. that. You can watch this color. See how this thing is just all kinds of different colors. Now look, this is a beet. These grow easily here in the Bahamas. These are really good for you too. Look, let's watch this beet go in there. Yeah. Look at that color. Look at that color. Uh. Right. Yeah, that changes the color of the juice right there. Yeah, that, that adds a lot to it. How about some of this? This is like uh, parsley here. Yeah, Normally Italian. You wouldn't really be eating that parsley, but you can definitely juice it. Italian parsley. Yeah, Italian parsley. What you think? Let's yeah. add some pepper in there. Yeah. We did that. Look at this. This bright orange pepper here. It's a bell pepper. I so thought you were saying habanero good. pepper. No, no. Spi uh, <laughs> a, light, a light, easy pepper. Um, I, did, I did a habanero in mine. mine. Did you? Yeah. All right, look at that. Look at that mixture now. Yeah. That look good to you? Yeah. That looks good to you? Look at that. Look at that color. Life force. Well, because it also had the beat. I just yeah. put in the beat, so it went. Yeah. It flashed through that beat there. Yeah. Well, let's put some cucumber in there just to calm it down a little, give a little more space to it here. We're getting pretty dense, so cucumbers are good. Add a little, a little something to it. All right, all right, and maybe let's just top it off with something sweet, like maybe a little apple, because I know you guys got a sweet tooth right now, so. As we all do, I want it to taste good. Yep. You know? It's all, right, all that so apple. now look at that, that's a pretty cool color combination, huh? Yeah. yeah. And these are different all the time, because every time you make it, it's a little different, and you can add all kinds of stuff. It's like a Yeah, we could add a little ginger if we wanted to. Yeah, do some ginger, they'll like it. Yeah, can we cut You guys will like it. You guys will dig it. Yeah, I can, this little piece, I'll put it in. Give it Yeah, it just yep. adds a little. Plus it's antifungal, antibacterial, anti-mucus. So good for you. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, let's, let's drink this bastard. Yeah, good, you covered it up. Okay, now here, we turned it off. And then we, uh. Having fun, juicer, and then I got a key. We got a waste We got another spoon. Are we ready? Yeah. Where's yours, Kendall? You're not drinking all mine. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how that's going. Like a soup on ice cream. Yeah, it looks kind of like ice cream. Because it's your guys' first juice, is this your first juice? Yep. Your first juice? Oh yeah. Kendall, yours? 
Hey, you all have to get your picture taken with me. Wait, 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 Drink it like a fine wine, like you'd sip, you'd, you'd take in all those flavors. It's clean. Now look, I need this vegetables. We got lots of vegetables, so we keep juicing. Yeah. Like this thing's here to, I'd rather everybody be juicing than, you know, doing other stuff. Yeah. The juice is where it's at. That's one good starting point. We'll get the smoothies out here too to add another dimension because that's when you can start getting the proteins and the different things like that. And you get that. Yeah, once you start getting it in your body, you'll start noticing it. If it's, it's, you feel it. Oh, yeah, everyone else oh feels gosh. it right away. Yeah. Here, Brian, can you take a um, woohoo juice in that bag arcade? Just a simmer. 